morning we're talking about moringa trees now i don't know if you guys know what a moringa tree is or not but this is these little guys right here over in india in the far eastern part of the world they call this little guy the tree of life right and sam there's many reasons why dumpster truck day Anyway, there's many reasons why. I mean, you can eat these things. These things are totally edible. The leaves are edible, the bark, the skin, the tree itself, the root. You know what I'm saying? They eat it, they make soup, salad, they make all kind of crazy stuff out of these things. But the really kicker thing is here is that one serving of this in your food, it's our trash day, right? It's like, there's just as much calcium in the serving of this as there is in a glass of milk. There's just as much protein as, say, a Big Mac from down there at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these things are good. They're really good. We've, we've been at this. You know what We've been trying to grow these little guys for a while. They're supposed to go in rough, dirty, hard terrain. You know what I'm We live in Phoenix, in the desert. Look, we got a whole bunch of them. They ain't even come up yet. We've been at this for that long, at least about a month or so. So here's another little guy. He seems to be grooving right in there with the cucumber. You know what I'm saying? All right, here's another one. This one here is doing pretty good, right? He's joining a little pot. But this one over here, for the longest time, he was he was our best mover, this little guy. You know what I'm saying? Let me see if I can get a zoom in on him. All right, but over here at the ground, you see, there he is. You can barely see him inside all the mulch. But the ground here is right here where he is. It's kind of hard and really crumbly and rocky. It's like supposed to be perfect ground for them. He was doing, he's really doing good. You know what I'm saying? But it's a little bit of a mineral deficiency. All right, so I mulch the ground all around him, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get him to grow good. Oh, look at our prickly pear cactus is just busting out. Look at that. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, I figured I'd do a little something on our little moringa trees and throw in our planter boxes. These planter boxes, as you can see, we made them out of pallets last winter. This one is two of the big blue pallets that we, we cut it, we cut the pallets in half and then we screwed them together with this board and then screwed on the ends and then we put some of this netting that we got from the Lowe's you know and a bunch of bags of mulch, a bunch of bags of horse poop and dirt and a bunch of other stuff you know what I'm saying? and then planted them right and the shard ain't doing too good because we're in Phoenix and it's getting to be summertime here everybody else still frozen in the snow but it's 95 to 100 degrees here already you know what I'm saying? There's a little tortured tomato right but as you can see Everything's been growing good. Look, 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 look at the arugulas. The arugulas have gone to seed already, and these things taste really good. There's the mustard greens, but the point is, look, right? This is some really good, right? Some really good dirt right here. You understand? Know and this this box just grows like mad. See, we got another smaller one over here that we made out of one pallet. This is made out of one pallet, cut in half, but the ends cut off. Now, as you can see. The potatoes are just grooving. There's even some mustard greens in there, another arugula, you know what I'm saying? Right, but the point is, is that these things are easy to make, you know what I'm saying? You just get some netting, fill it with some horse poop and some other dirt, and just get all that stuff. Look, it doesn't take up no ground, doesn't take a whole lot of water to water, keep them going. Look, look, I water this thing every other day, every three days. Look at them potatoes. We got a box full of potatoes right there that's gonna last us for the rest of the year. Right, doesn't take up a lot of space, they're easy to make, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, in a way, they're kind of cool. So, the next time, you know, you're looking for something to do and you want some vegetables or something, you don't want to spend a zillion dollars, look, we got pallets. Made a garden. Thank you.